Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Today we have the espresso makeup that's supposedly gonna be trending now coming into autumn slash fall. This is a part of my series I'm doing here on my channel, which I'm gonna be doing what people think is gonna trend in this autumn slash fall 2024. So if you haven't seen my previous ones, I've got a playlist on my channel and I'll also pop it in the eye up there as well or up there, whatever side it is, I always get it wrong and that lets you know what were the ones I've been doing. If you want to see a specific trend you want me to do, then pop it in the comments down below and also let me know if you like this look. And I'll do more. Before we begin please consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already and make sure your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on any of my videos in the future because sometimes I post sporadically even though I post twice a week it might be now and then on different days. If you want to see how I got this espresso inspired makeup look then keep on watching. Okay so we have a fun video to film today. Obviously I would have said this in the intro but we've got espresso makeup. This is my sort of makeup look. Okay so I'm gonna start off with my eyes I think just because it's a little bit more grungy, a little bit more smoky. I'm gonna just fill in my eyebrows a second, bear with. Okay so I'm first like I said gonna start with my eyes. I've done my eyebrows now, they look prominent but I promise when the makeup goes on it'll all come together. I'm going to take the By Beauty Bay Eye Base in the shade Base 2. I'm just going to put this directly on my eyes and I'm not being too precise with this. I'm just going to dab it on. Now the eyes are primed, I'm going to be taking, I don't know which one to take, either the cool tone one or the warm tone one. I wish I could ask you guys to be honest. Uh, they're both from Make My Mario. But you've got the cooler one and you've got the warmer one. I think I'm going to go in with the cooler one because espresso is a little bit like cocoa sort of shades. And it's got a black in this one so that's what we need. First I'm going to take a, probably didn't really need the base, but I'm going to take the Made by Mitchell All Smudge No Budge in, if you've guessed it, Tiger's Eye. It's like an in-between a black and a brown. It's gorgeous anyway. Just needs a, sh a little sharpen. And I'm going to take this all over the lid and what I love about these pencils is they're really creamy so they're going to be easy to blend and I'm going to take that all the way across my lid and I'm just going to get a teeny tiny blending brush and I'm just going to blend those edges and not take it too far up. See how easy that blended out just gonna go and do the other eye. Now what I'm gonna do is take the Makeup by Mario Master Matte's The Neutrals palette and I'm gonna take a lighter shade just to help blend them edges out. I'm gonna take the top shade here and I'm not gonna take it too high again but just buffing that out. Getting rid of those lines be winging this so wing that out those eyeliners are perfect for this i'm so glad i've gone for cool tones because that is absolutely perfect now we're going to take an espresso shade because that is already quite dark i'm going to try and keep it like at the lash line so i'm going to take this shade here which is a very deep like espresso sort of shade. And I'm going to take the brush that we blended the eyeshadow in with and like I said I'm just going to go on the lash line here and then wing it out. We are going to be taking a black in a sec so this you can just be quite messy with. I'm going to go in with a slightly lighter shade here. I think it needs it on the lid just to be like an in-between sort of shade. Now we can go in with that deep, rich shade. This is just gonna act as like a base to easily blend that black liner out. 
So now I'm gonna take another Made by Mitchell eyeliner or smudge and a wedge in the shade Black Track because I feel like this is gonna really like stand it out. I need to sharpen this one as well. We need a sharp line for this because I'm gonna be winging this out. So again, I'm going across that lash line to really deepen that up. And then we're gonna wing it out. And the same again on the other side. I'm not gonna take this black shade right in. Oh, I suppose we could actually, because we are taking it in the waterline. Then I'm gonna take a really sharp angled brush and I'm gonna just slightly blend that make it a bit more smoky. Got to be careful because these liners do dry down so I've got to be quick. So what I'm going to do is take that small brush that we took with the dark shade and I'm going to go in with the espresso shade and then I'm going to dip ever so slightly into the into the black and I'm going to go right on top of that and really help to blend all of that together. So that is the top of the eyes done. I don't know whether to put lashes on or not. I haven't worn lashes in ages. To be fair, on the photo, she's not wearing eyelashes. So do you know what? We're going for the natural look. We're gonna go for no eyelashes. What I'm gonna do though, before I do the face, I'm gonna take this and put it on my upper waterline. Really get that dark black line. That always makes a hell of a difference. And then I'm gonna clean up under my eyes definitely want to make sure you do this step if you gonna do your base even if you think like you haven't got much fallout definitely still do this step because look how much smoother my under eyes look and there is stuff on there so little tip for you guys now on to base now the base is like a satin sort of semi matte light finish like sheer coverage. So I'm first gonna go in with the Doll Beauty Body Prep Perfecting Primer. This stuff is so good for hydration, plus obviously it gives that tacky grip feel into it. So I just keep blending this until you can feel it going tacky because it's a tacky primer. You don't want to over rub it into your skin but because this one's got more of a hydrating smoother feel into it it feels sort of like a bit more wet but you can tell when you blend it in when to stop because it goes tacky and it goes sort of like you're tugging at your skin and that's what's happening now so stop like i said for base it's going to be a bit more sheer like sort of a semi-matte finish so i'm going to go in with the l'oreal true match nude plumping tinted serum in the shade 4-5 medium i haven't taken this for so long guys so let's hope fingers crossed it's still good i was going to take the maybelline one the superstay one because i absolutely love that that's literally my ride or die skin tint but it has got a little bit more coverage and i don't think this one has as much as that so that's why i'm taking this one it does definitely feel lighter than the Maybelline skin tint. Just drenching my sponge with lots and lots of setting spray. This isn't my favourite sponge but we're gonna go in with it. I'm gonna go in with a sponge today because like it states not much coverage. So we're gonna sheer it out with a sponge. I think the focus is gonna be all on the eyes which I appreciate and I am definitely here for. Okay, so next I'm going to take the Lancome Serum Concealer. This is like a really light concealer. Okay, so I do like to let that sit for a little bit and I am going to blend this out with a brush just because I like to keep the coverage in my concealer. Feel free to shear it out with a sponge, but this is what I'm going to do. This is going to add a little bit of glow as well. I don't want it too matte, but we don't want it too glowy. We want a nice in-between. That does blend out really nicely. I've also got the shade 105W, by the way. Okay, so next is the Contour Bronzer. Now, this look actually has a little bit of contour in there. And you know me, guys, I'm not normally a contour girl. But I think I'm going to go in with more of a cooler shade. So I'm going to take Hello There. 
and maybe just a little bit of shady business this one here i can't believe i've actually not used this this is the light curve case which is quite annoying that it doesn't say on the packaging that it's the light one but i mean you can tell by the color of that but i'm going to take like i said hello there and shady business just so it's not too cool we all know i love my bronze shade okay that's actually made a really nice sort of like neutral undertone bronzer okay i like it so i'm just gonna stipple this around the edges of my skin i know this espresso makeup was quite popular back in 2023 and it's making a comeback so it's like latte makeup's big sister more grungier sister and I am so here for that. You know who this would look stunning on is my friend Ellie. Because she loves a grungy, cool toned look. I'm going to put a bit of concealer underneath my contour bronzer. Because I feel like it cleans it up so well. I just start always doing concealer after bronzer. And I'm going to keep that there until it marinates. And I'm going to do blush. So I'm taking the Jordana t-shirt it's casual blush duos and obviously i'm just going to take the the cream for now and then i'll use the bro the oh my god i can't speak the powder after oh, these smell so good that's perfect i didn't want it to be too like in your face i feel like this is the perfect undertone for this makeup look so i'm going to set that aside when i do the powder blush just going to make sure to blend that concealer out i am starving using a sponge to blend this out is perfect because it just merges the concealer and bronzer in together but i am gonna go back in with the bronzer brush just to blend that and then to set this face so it's not looking shiny but a satin matte sort of finish laura mercier translucent powder i've gone back to this recently as you can probably tell in my videos and it's just so good like i would highly recommend it to anyone I'm gonna make sure that there's no creases and obviously i'm using it on a powder puff okay gorge what i'm gonna do now is use I'm going to set my bronzer, so I'm going to go in with, you know it, MAC Dark Tan Absolute Elite product. I am never going to have another favourite bronzer. Beautiful. And I thought it's not too orange. I am going to cheat a little bit and put a little bit more coverage under my eyes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Again, if you watch my videos lately, you'll know how much I love this stuff. It just adds so much nice brightness to my inner corner. Obviously, we are going to go underneath my eyes with some shadow as well. So, we don't need too much. And then, to tie in the blush, I'm going to go in with the powder side. Okay, so now back on to the eyes. I'm going to take the black track and put that in my waterline. I can't actually see what whoa what I'm doing. Take the lighter shade that we took and dust that all over the bottom of my eye just to get that base down. And then I'm going in with that deep deep chocolate colour. Just checking I'm still filming. Make sure that's all blended out. And then I'm gonna take my liner pencil at uh, my liner brush and go right up to that waterline and this makes a hell of a difference it just joins the lower lash line with the upper with the waterline i mean one last blend oh that looks so good i actually nearly forgot mascara i <laughs> using the lancome hypnos drama they reformulated it and it's meant to be even better i used it once the other day and it actually made a difference i'm not gonna lie but let me just curl my lashes a couple of coats of this and it looks 
so voluminous and in the name drama. I have noticed though I do prefer it when mascaras are a little bit like older if you know what I mean because they like dry up a bit more. Just realised the brush is flat on one side. Oh my god this is looking so good like those eyes oh this is my sort of makeup then lip liner i'm gonna go in with the oak lip liner i'm a bit scared because i put this over red the other day but again i want that sort of brownie tone okay that took a lot longer than anticipated and because i was focusing so much on the lip like doing the lip liner I didn't notice it stopped recording so hopefully it recorded a little bit of that but next I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate because I feel like this is going to be a light shade for in the middle but I don't know whether it's going to be a bit too brown for me but that's what it looks like very pale this is a very different lip for me as I was saying, now I've got some memory on my memory card. Because if you're watching this point in the video, I'm just going to shout it out. You know by now, if you watch my videos, what I do in this segment of the video. In a random segment of my video, by the way. Put a lipstick emoji if you have watched this far. And also put a brown love heart emoji. I think this will tie in really well with like the smoky brown espresso. Or even a espresso cup. Yeah, let's do that. A lipstick brown heart emoji and an espresso cup if there's one on your mobile device. If you don't have those emojis, like I always say, just write the words lipstick, art or brown heart and espresso. Now let's jump back into the video even though it's at the end again. So what do you guys think? I think it looks absolutely stunning and I miss this sort of makeup, the like dramatic eye and I love that the base isn't too like jumping at you it's just a simple base with a dramatic eye as well as the lips I actually quite like the lips they're very autumnal sound off in the comments what you guys think of this look if I smashed it and before you leave please consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already and you want to see more looks like this from me videos like this beauty makeup skincare content this is what you're gonna get on this channel and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you do like this trend the espresso makeup trend or if you just like makeup tutorials in general. Let me know by liking the video. I really hope you enjoyed guys. I hope you have a lush rest of your day or evening. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.